No matter who you are, you do not want to be used. Women know what it's like to be looked at like a hungry wolf looks at sheep. I've seen the faces of middle school girls when I ask if they've ever been catcalled. No matter who you are, you do not want to be used. Sure, the attention that comes with being used may bring happiness for the moment, but in the end, we all search for more because we're created for love and not use. Just as women have more to offer the world than a body, are men not the same way? What makes them different? I've read articles that say it's okay to objectify men because we women have had to deal with so much worse. It is our duty to pass on the same sort of victimization to men because we felt that I had an injustice done to me by being looked at that way, talked about that way, using that way, so let me pass that on and share the goods. That fixes nothing. That doesn't do anything. That leaves a lot more people broken. That's what that does. That will not fix our world. That will not take away the pain that we felt when we were objectified. Because I'm weak and in, and in distress and I can't do anything for myself, I can't be victimized. But men, because they're strong and they have everything they can, they can be objectified. They can be used because they're strong enough to handle it. It is not wrong to objectify me just because I'm a weak woman. I'm not weak. I'm a human being. I don't deserve to be objectified in any way. And neither does anyone else. That's the truth. This is not a men versus women thing. Is it actually empowering to use somebody? In no way am I trying to downplay the objectification of women. That's a real issue that we have to keep fighting against. However, I want to bring to our attention two ways that we women might be objectifying men. One, lusting after him. If we find ourselves giving in to a magic mic mentality, we can unknowingly participate in this culture of use by acting like objectifying men isn't wrong. Two, using him emotionally. As women, we have the gift of being very in tune with our desire to love. This gift can sometimes seem like a burden when we see a cute guy and our emotions jump from the first date to proposal to wedding in 0.5 seconds. It's not wrong to appreciate the beauty of a man, but once you cross that line and use him to play this role in our daydreams, are we actually thinking about the person as a whole or are we using him to feel this emotional closeness? In the end, when we choose to objectify one another, we all lose. St. John Paul II said, the ultimate test of your greatness is the way that you treat each and every human being. Click here to subscribe, hear for more videos, and thank you for watching. Hannah G.